my role within the Sustain Farm project is leading Work Package 3, which is focusing on sustainability assessment in combined food and energy systems. Uh, so as part of this project, we're going through a process of selecting indicators that can be used to measure sustainability performance within agroforestry systems. And we're adapting a tool that we developed here at the Organic Research Centre called the Public Goods Tool, um, which has been used in quite a few research projects over the years um, with some success. And we're developing that tool, particularly for agroforestry within this project, and looking at how it can be used more widely. Uh, and the end result of all this work will be a decision support tool that we hope will be useful for farmers and land managers, as well as for people working in the supply chain. What marks out the tool that we're developing is that it takes this holistic approach that can look at the impact of changing uh, decisions on a wide number of areas, not just the economics, but also the social and environmental impacts of the farm. So I think it's important to consider those wider impacts if you're developing a sustainable business. The tool we're developing is user-friendly and it provides results in a visual way which allows for sort of ease of interpretation and uh, comparison compared to other farms or to other management options. So I think um, you know, the public goods tool that we're using is a good sort of framework for that and the feedback we've had from farmers who've used the tool today is encouraging in that respect. So the way, the way we share the results in particular, the use of the radar diagram across, that shows performance across the three pillars, social, economic, environmental, is well received and we get a lot of positive comments about the usefulness of that sort of visual approach to looking at the impact of changes. So I think, yeah, so ease of use, ease of interpretation and that sort of holistic approach is the sort of main advantage. We wanted to adapt the tool particularly for agroforestry systems or combined food and energy systems as they're called in this project. So at the start we carried out an extensive review of the literature looking in particular at how you could measure sustainability in agroforestry systems um, across these sort of three pillars, social, environmental and economic. And we pulled out some suggested ways of measuring these things from the literature and presented them to stakeholders who were involved in the project and asked them to rank the ones that they thought were the most relevant for, the, for measuring the performance. And uh, we went through a sort of structured Delphi approach of uh, carrying out workshops with multiple rounds of ranking across the partner countries. Um, and that was a really interesting exercise in its own right in terms of getting consensus from experts. We were able to consolidate a list of indicators that are going to be incorporated within the new version of the tool, which will eventually become the decision support framework uh, that comes out of Sustain Farm. So that's, um, that's all where we're at at the moment, really, in that we've chosen the indicators following these workshops, and now we're adapting the tool. Uh, in fact, I'm working on it at the moment, and then in the coming months we'll be testing that on the farms that are part of the project and getting feedback Farmers' engagement in the tool development process is really key to ensuring the success of the development of decision support tool because at the end of the day we want something that's actually going to be useful and not just sit on a website somewhere. There's a, if you have it in the time, so that would be perfect. Oh, I'll have to get this. As part of the ongoing development of the tool within the project, we, we really want to get farmers' comments on, for example, the time that it takes to carry out an assessment with the adapted tool um, and the most useful aspects of the assessment as well as the less useful aspects because it's going to be an iterative process over the next sort of 18 months or so as we develop the decision support tool um, and we really want to get a sort of constructive dialogue going on with the farmers in particular about uh, things that could be changed uh, because I think the end product will look quite different to the, sort of the standard PG tool that we have in place at the moment and, uh, and I'm keen that what we do end up with at the very end is something that's actually going to be practically useful and um, taken up on a wider basis beyond the sort of farmers who are involved within the project uh, through the stakeholder platform. The benefits to the end user of using the decision support tool that we're developing sustained farm 
uh, sort of multifaceted really, but the, the main benefit I think will be the ability to look at the trade-offs associated with a change in management. So for example, the extent to which the incorporation of agroforestry within a farming system would impact on the economic performance of the farm, as well as the environmental sustainability um, with regard to the use of fossil fuels, for example, and any saving that might be obtained through replacing heating oil with wood chip. So we hope that the system supports all can, can help farmers to uh, think more broadly about their system and the sort of broader impact across the, uh, the supply chain. Really. So, so uh, yeah, that's the main benefit, I think.